Good to have you with us tonight, folks. Thanks for watching. A Republican Senate candidate out of the state of Indiana showed voters, especially women, exactly what is at stake in this election. You know, this is that issue that every candidate for federal or even state office faces, and I, too, certainly stand for life. I know there are some who disagree, and I respect their point of view, but I believe that life begins at conception. Uh, the only exception I have for uh, to have an abortion is in that case of the life of the mother. I, I just I struggled with it myself for a long time, but I came to realize life is that gift from God, and I think even when life begins in that horrible situation of rape, that it is uh, something that God intended to happen. Richard Murdoch is fighting in one of the most hotly contested Senate seats in the country. Murdoch was compelled to answer reporters' questions today about his comments on rape. I believe life is precious. I believe that to the marrow of my bones. I have a much more humble person this morning because so many people mistook, twisted, came to misunderstand the points that I was trying to make. Murdoch was asked to defend the intention of his words. He claimed ignorance. But do you believe that if the pregnancy results from race, God intended for that pregnancy to take place? You know, that's a call above my pay grade. Out of the mainstream, what do you think? If you're wondering how a loose cannon like Murdoch wound up in a pivotal Senate race, you can thank the Tea Party. Millions of dollars coming from the outside funded Murdoch's primary campaign against establishment Republican Dick Luger of some 30 years in the Senate. The Republican Party is facing another tight Senate race, just like the one in Missouri. If it's a legitimate rape, uh, the female body has ways to try to shut that whole thing down. But let's assume that maybe that didn't mm -hmm. work or something. You know, I think there should be some punishment, but the punishment ought to be in the rapist and, and not attacking the child. Todd Aiken's legitimate rape comments were just the warning shot. He might as well have said, you know, there's more where that came from. Now Republicans are forced to defend high-profile candidates with views way outside the mainstream in this country. In fact, 83% of Americans believe there should be abortion exceptions in the case of rape and incest. 76% of Republicans agree. The most recent comprehensive study of pregnancies resulting from rape show more than 32,000 over the course of a year. No one is telling Richard Murdoch or any other candidate what they can or cannot personally believe, but even the Republican nominee, Mitt Romney, has given Murdoch thumbs up and says Murdoch will legislate on major health care initiatives. Mitt Romney filmed a television ad for Murdoch. It was released on Monday. This fall, I'm supporting Richard Murdoch for Senate. As Senator, Richard will be the 51st vote to repeal and replace government-run health care. Richard will help stop the liberal Reed Pelosi agenda. With so much at stake, I hope you'll join me in supporting Richard Murdoch for U.S. Senate. In light of Murdoch's comments, the Romney camp says Governor Romney disagrees with Richard Murdoch. And Mr. Murdoch's comments do not reflect Governor Romney's views. We disagree on the policy regarding exceptions for rape and incest, but still support him. <laughs> Democrats unveiled their own video to make sure no one forgets Mitt Romney's support for Richard Murdoch. This is a man who I want to see in Washington to make sure that we can not just talk about changing things, but actually have the votes to get things changed. Even when life begins in that horrible situation of rape, that it is uh, something that God intended to happen. We got to get this guy elected in the U.S. Senate. It is uh, something that God intended to happen. There's so much at stake. I hope you'll join me in supporting Richard Murdoch for U.S. Senate. For the record, Murdoch is not an exception to the rule for the Romney campaign. Romney's running mate, Paul Ryan, co-sponsored legislation to change the definition of rape and abortion cases. The Republican National Convention included language in the party platform identical to Murdoch's position. We support a human life amendment to Constitution and endorse legislation to make clear that the 14th Amendment's protections apply to unborn children. There is also Romney's own words. In an op-ed called My Pro-Life Pledge, Romney called Roe versus Wade bad law and bad medicine and a misguided ruling. Romney told Mike Huckabee he wants the ruling overturned and wants the Constitution changed. Would you have supported the constitutional amendment that would have established the definition of life at conception? Absolutely. Take the Republican Party at its word. They say they will legislate their, mor their morality and their faith on the American people if they have the chance. 
I think you ought to believe him. Compare this with the position articulated by the vice president of the United States, Joe Biden, during his recent debate with Paul Ryan. My religion uh, defines who I am. And uh, I've been a practicing Catholic my whole life. Um, and uh, it has particularly informed my social doctrine. I accept my church's position on abortion as a what we call de fide doctrine. Life begins at conception. That's the church's judgment. I accept it in my personal life. But I refuse to impose it on equally devout Christians and Muslims and Jews. And uh, I just refuse to impose that on others. Elections have consequences. I hope people who care about women's rights in this country realize how stunning the consequences of a 2012 election, what they really are, if this crowd gets elected. Now, keep in mind, there's a big discussion in America about whether there's a war on women. Fox News says there isn't. What does it mean when the majority of the people in this country don't see it their way? What do you call that? The mainstream? I think not. Get your cell phones out. I want to know what you think. Tonight's question. Does Richard Murdoch speak for the Republican Party? Text A for yes, text B for no to 622-639. You can always go to our blog at ed.msnbc.com. We'll bring you the results later on in the show. I'm joined tonight by Terry O'Neill, president of the National Organization for Women. Terry, great to have you with us tonight. 13 days out from the election. This is a blockbuster story for women in this country and women's rights. Does this elevate the conversation at a very important time for women? Yeah, Ed, I think that it makes very, very clear to women where Mitt Romney and his soulmates, Paul Ryan, Todd Akin, Richard Murdoch, actually stand on women's rights. Look, uh, we put out a statement saying that Richard Murdoch is Mitt Romney unmasked. And what, what we mean by that is that Mitt Romney, when the cameras were not on him back when he was a lay bishop in the Mormon church, he actually pressured a woman whose blood clots were making her uh, pregnancy life-threatening to her. What he said to her was this, why should you get off so easy? Other women don't get off that easy. And, and he wanted her to continue the pregnancy even though it was threatening her life. Her parents were frantic. Her father actually threw Romney out of the house and said, don't you ever come back and talk to my daughter uh, that way. They actually cared about women's lives, that woman's life, um, in a way that Mitt Romney doesn't even conceive of caring for women's lives. So let's, let's be very clear. Richard Murdoch told the truth about what the Republican Party now wants to do to women. It is, it is, a, it is a terrible shame for the Republican Party. Um, it, the Republican Party used to be run by people who were, were responsible. I didn't agree with them much of the time, but right now what we have is a radical fringe in control of the Republican Party and the policies. And Mitt Romney is right in the thick in the middle of so, that fringe and very unpopular with the American people. So your message to women tonight across the country who may be undecided is that this could be a benchmark election when it comes to women's rights. And you are convinced, I don't want to put words in your mouth, that this crowd, if they have the power, they will overturn Roe v. Wade. There's no question in my mind. Ed, I think that's absolutely right. They will do everything they can to overturn Roe versus Wade. Mitt Romney does do, will support personhood amendments that criminalizes all abortion um, in all cases. Uh, look, I think you mentioned earlier, over 32,000 pregnancies in the United States every year uh, result from rape. Another statistic that a lot of people don't know is that 31 states actually still give rapists father's rights. So access to the child uh, that was a product of rape and therefore access to the rape survivor. We are working very hard to change these state level laws, but they do exist. Um, and, and so this makes it all the more important that rape survivors have complete control over their own futures, over that pregnancy, to prevent the pregnancy they need EC, emergency contraception. And if a woman becomes pregnant through rape, she must have the absolute decision-making power as to whether to, to uh, continue that pregnancy so, or not. It cannot be up to men like Richard Murdoch will, and Paul Ryan. Do you think this will affect women? And, and the clock is ticking, less than two weeks. Can it have an impact on the election? You know, I think it can, and I think what is what is a real um, a real problem is that women voters and many other people, I think opinion leaders, have a very hard time wrapping their brain around the reality of the danger to women 
that is posed by these men. I don't blame them for having a hard time wrapping their brains around this. This is this is way outside the norm. It is something that you want to see that can't, you say that can't possibly be true. The sad reality, it is all too true. Mm -hmm. And these men are that close to taking power and to imposing the most draconian, truly misogynistic, truly woman-hating policies on this country. And, and you know, my organization and, and, and women's organizations all around the country who we're partnering with, we are doing everything we can to defeat these men, and I think we will. Uh, but, but, but it is hard for people to really, really grasp how dire this threat yeah. is. Well, they're cr crystal clear on where they stand on the issues, no doubt. Terry O'Neill, thank you for joining us tonight on The Ed Show. Remember to answer tonight's question there at the bottom of the screen. Share your thoughts on Twitter and at Ed Show and on Facebook. We always want to know what you think and get your comments. Coming up, when is enough enough? Will Richard Murdoch's comments be a real wake-up call to Republican moderates? Susan Del Percio and Crystal Ball weigh in with commentary and more discussion when we come back.